Well, it's midsummer here in northwest Wisconsin, and it's time to test if there's a potato for some new potatoes. We Swedes like got uh, potato bugs been eating on my plants. I look for the blooming one because that's a sign they're getting ready to start putting on the uh, uh, tubers, start filling them up. This is a kind of a crowded one, so I'm going to try one, even though I think it's a little too early. Let's see here. <laughs> Not much. But then. Just getting started. Oh well, I've got a few new potatoes for to start with. That's it. <laughs> The potatoes, I got a lot of potatoes this year. I've been trying to keep the bugs out of them. Those potatoes were planted in April. These, which look like they're further behind, were planted at the end of March. So I'm going to try one just for the heck of it. They didn't come. It's a shame to pull the potatoes out. They were a little further along. Enough. I better save this one too. Should we see if we can find a ripe pea? about the best one they can find. Pretty small. Mmm, tastes good though. The lettuce is really nice. row of string beans, behind that onions, and then uh, squash and tomatoes, and then grass and weeds.
What do you think of that lettuce leaf? Pretty good size. Mmm, tastes good too. Not bitter at all yet. That's the peas. String beans haven't started blooming yet, but they're starting to grow. Good. Up on the far end is uh, carrots. This little piece right in front of me, I planted on a mild day at the end of March, and it just sat there and didn't do anything. But it didn't die, it just uh, waited. The peas, potatoes, lettuce, all came, even though they were planted and really didn't do anything for a month. Another part of the garden, those are tomato, or watermelon plants, a row of dill, two rows of strawberries I moved, and in the background a bunch of rhubarb I moved. Let's see here. And then to the right are two rows of strawberry, ah, there's two rows of strawberries right in front of me that I moved, and then over there are two rows of raspberries that I moved this spring. They're getting started, but slowly. The garden is fenced with a, a six-foot deer fence. So now we'll move over, then we'll have my junk pile here. We'll move past fast. The old farm silos in the background. The potato patch. I had quite a few this year. I had a bunch of my own left from the winter. And then the peas and lettuce and so on. This is one of the of three, four different gardens I've got. The cold frame. Got a watering tank that I use for dip out but I also have hoses from the, the uh, yard hydrant let's see here those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine apple trees I planted from seeds from our apples for last year, Wolf River apples. And uh, I'm going to move them now into the another bed, separate it out, and then uh, let them grow for a year, and then graft on uh, uh, apple scions that I want of, I think maybe a few of the different old varieties we have. When I get tired of pulling my gazebo and easy chair are ready. It overlooks the garden and the uh, valley behind it. Well, 